So today I read this article from Ethan Strauss about Caitlin Clark and Nike. And to um, for this, I'm going to give my opinion on this. I've said it from the start. Nike should have released, should be releasing the GT Cut 4s as the CC ones. Right, it sucks to lose, but if you're going to lose to somebody, you're going to lose to the champion. Wow, she's so good, isn't she? Jab Wilson's recent endorsement deal with Nike has sparked an active debate among fans, especially those who support Caitlin Clark in a sports world that is becoming more intertwined with social issues. This deal is a big moment, not only for Wilson but also for women athletes who are pushing for change in a system that often struggles with inequality and old-fashioned ideas. As Wilson's popularity grows, driven by her remarkable skills and her commitment to her beliefs, one can't help but wonder, is her collaboration with Nike focused on athletic achievement, or is it a strategic effort to promote a progressive agenda? Aja Wilson, a star player for the Las Vegas Aces, has been making headlines in the WNBA ever since she was selected first overall in the 2018 draft. Her path from being a standout player at the University of South Carolina to becoming a two-time WNBA MVP highlights not just her skills, but also her capacity to motivate others. Outside of the basketball court, Wilson has actively supported social justice initiatives focusing on gender equality and racial equity. This commitment has struck a core with many fans who appreciate activism within the sports world. Las Vegas Aces standout Asia Wilson is making headlines in the basketball world with her debut signature shoe collection in partnership with Nike. The announcement came just as the two-time defending champion geared up for a preseason exhibition match against the Puerto Rican national team. What does this agreement with Nike actually signify? The company is recognized for its talent and influence in cultural stories and has frequently led the way in progressive movements. Wilson's partnership represents a union of shared values, showcasing her dedication to advocacy alongside Nike's approach of collaborating with athletes who strive for transformation. The blend of sports and social activism is on the rise, and a jaw Wilson has emerged as a leading figure in this movement. Following in the footsteps of New York Liberty's Sabrina Ionescu, Wilson joins the elite ranks of WNBA players with Nike signature shoes. Additionally, Indiana Fever rookie sensation Caitlin Clark recently inked a lucrative $28 million deal with Nike. Wilson's collection named A1. The unexpected news. Wilson's new partnership with Nike has been revealed just as the WNBA is experiencing a surge in popularity and attention. Caitlin Clark, the standout star from Iowa State, is at the forefront of NCAA women's basketball, drawing in a wider audience and becoming a fan favorite. Clark's exciting way of playing and her knack for engaging with fans have earned her a huge fan base, creating a bit of a rivalry between her supporters and those who cheer for Wilson. Caitlin Clark has done it. She is now the highest paid women's basketball player of all time before she ever set foot on a WNBA court. As we can see, the AP News has already said that the deal is allegedly going to be around an eight-year deal, about $28 million, and again, a signature shoe. The rivalry intensified on social media after Wilson's contract was announced. Numerous supporters of Clark shared their thoughts on social media platforms such as Twitter and Instagram, igniting discussions about whether Wilson's agreement signifies a true effort for equality or is simply a calculated tactic by Nike to benefit from social movements. Is this merely a publicity stunt one fan questioned, while another asserted, a Ja is a pioneer, and she deserves all of this recognition. Before we continue, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Also hit the bell icon so you'll be notified every time we post a new video. The buzz surrounding Wilson's deal grew as different YouTube channels and sports commentators explored what her partnership with Nike meant. In videos about her influence, many highlighted how crucial it is to have representation in sports, especially for young girls who now see role models breaking societal norms. And now, we can start to play about Kenny Clark's WNBA salary because yes the salaries need to go up but overall she's gonna be okay she's getting paid and the people that are like well she should stay in Iowa she would have got she would have made more money than Iowa well not really she had a Nike deal at Iowa it wasn't worth this much money like the deal with at Iowa expired this deal is it's longer it's more total value she would not have gotten this Nike deal if she was at Iowa especially only for one more year Nike's approach thoughtful or trendy? Nike has a rich history of partnering with athletes who represent much more than their respective sports. The company has frequently made strong statements on social matters, highlighted by campaigns with athletes such as Colin Kaepernick and Serena Williams. 
Jones. Some critics believe that Nike's collaboration with Wilson is part of a larger woke movement, implying that the brand focuses more on social messages than on conventional marketing strategies. Supporters believe that this collaboration is essential for advancing women's sports and empowering those who have often been overlooked. And overall, this just shows that her aura right now is next level. She's like 2002 LeBron James. LeBron James was in high school. He was already being called the chosen one. He had the big Nike deal before he ever took a bounce of a basketball on an NBA floor. Kenny Clark is just next. The, the, the videos analyzing Wilson's deal break down Nike's clever strategy. A well-known YouTube analysis pointed out that the brand has changed its approach to be more inclusive. It suggested that this partnership is not just advantageous for Wilson, but also helps Nike connect with groups that care about social issues. Caitlin Clark's fans reacted strongly, sparking even more conversations about whether these endorsements are genuine. And why Nike has been reluctant to take advantage of Caitlin Clark because they have. And what I've always thought was like, man, that contract she signed seemed pretty reasonable. It, it, it was, it's like, wow, Caitlin Clark comes out of Iowa, and I started saying. The reaction from fans, Caitlin Clark's supporters, known for their undying loyalty and excitement, expressed their emotions openly. When a Ja Wilson's Nike deal came to light, social media buzzed with excitement, showcasing a mix of support for Wilson and spirited defenses of Clark Y. Does it always seem like there's an agenda instead of just enjoying the game one fan asked? To which another replied, because a Ja is motivating an entire generation embrace the present. Uh, after her junior year in college, like, hey man, she's the biggest star in college sport. And then after what she did at Iowa her senior year, I started saying, hey, I think she's gonna be the biggest star in sport. And we've never seen this. The gap reflects a bigger discussion happening in our culture. Some fans prefer the straightforwardness of sports without any social messages, while others welcome the changing story of athletes taking a stand. Clark's fans are especially outspoken about wanting their favorite player to receive recognition comparable to Wilson, who is currently celebrated as a leader both on the court and in the realm of social justice. This is a woman in America that is going to dwarf the men in terms of popularity and influence driving, I get, we haven't seen this since Tiger Woods was my argument that Tiger Woods lifted up the PGA Tour and made it very, very relevant. But this is even more impressive because the PGA Tour had relevant. Women in sports, a broader perspective. This conversation goes beyond just two athletes. It marks an important turning point in the development of women's sports. Female athletes are not only achieving great things in sports, but they are also stepping up to speak out on important issues that affect them and their communities. Wilson teaming up with Nike marks an important shift for the WNBA, highlighting that female athletes have a vital role in driving social change. They had Jack Nicholas, who's a legitimate star of stars. The WNBA's never had anything, nothing. Cheryl Miller couldn't move, really move the needle. Candace Parker couldn't really move the needle. Now they have this woman and she's made the WNBA relevant, and I'm like... Numerous observers have noted that although rivalries play a role in sports, the emphasis should be on the advancements occurring in women's athletics. Following Wilson's deal, many YouTube channels emphasize the significance of young girls witnessing the success of athletes like Wilson and Clark, not only in sports, but also as influential leaders within their communities. This is the point where we start to think about what it means for the athletes of tomorrow. Will they keep striving for change, using their platforms to promote equality and representation? A jaw will Wilson's partnership with Nike opens the door for female athletes to leverage their platforms and spark important discussions about social issues. Why isn't she being promoted and how did Nike get her at such a reasonable, wasn't it a 22 or 32? 28 million, 28 over, million eight over eight years. Over eight years, <laughs> like, that doesn't add up to me. I think. Some of this might be a little bit of revisionist history. Social media buzz. As the news broke, social media turned into a lively arena of differing views. Fans took to TikTok and Instagram stories to share their opinions about Wilson's new deal with Nike fans on both sides expressed their passion and enthusiasm through a flood of memes, gifts, and bold opinions. The hashtags Team Maja and Team Caitlin began to trend, showcasing both the strong divide and the common passion for women's basketball. Going into the we all sat here and argued that she should go back to Iowa. Yeah. Because she would die and get swallowed up in the WNBA and everybody would stop watching her. That's when Nike struck. I think they got this well before she was showing triple, quadruple the ratings of other WNBA games.
See, we could sit here and speculate, and we did on this show, and I, and... Commentators on platforms like YouTube jumped into this excitement, exploring not only the deal itself, but also the cultural impact of female athletes standing up for social justice. A video explored the journeys of both players, highlighting how Wilson's endorsement might shape the WNBA's branding and marketing approaches in the future. This is only the start the host announced, creating an atmosphere for a continuing conversation about the future of women's sports. For about... I think it was maybe 72 hours. I thought like, hey, this will be over with after college and said so on this show. And I'm t I, my memory, and it could be wrong, but within 72 to what's 72 to 86, 96 hours. The future, what awaits us? The story about AJ Wilson and her night deal keeps getting more interesting. Could this collaboration reshape the future of women's sports? Could this encourage more athletes to voice their opinions and use their influence for social change? With Caitlin Clark's fan base expanding and the rivalry heating up, it's evident that women's sports have stepped into the spotlight, becoming a key part of cultural discussions. Is it 24 times 7 plus 96? <laughs> well, within four days, I'm telling you, I think I had pivoted to, yeah, I think I definitely I'm, pivoted after the WNBA draft. For sure you were pivoted by then, so it was before there was a game. When, okay, Hadley, somebody help me out. When was the WNBA draft? Because the, the NCAA tournament wraps up in early April. This partnership has effects that go well beyond just basketball. It shows a change in how brands connect with athletes who support change and emphasize the continuing fight for gender equality in sports. The conversations about why Nike partnered with Wilson are buzzing, but one thing is clear, this is a remarkable time for women athletes. They are pushing boundaries, promoting transformation, and motivating the generations to come. A Jay Wilson represents more than merely being an athlete, she embodies a movement, and her collaboration collaboration with Nike highlights this fact. How fortuitous. I also couldn't foresee that this player would maintain the fame momentum through her interest into the WNBA, where she'd finish uh, all first team as a rookie, and who could have predicted her games would average more than a million viewers, contrasted against the games of other players that would register 300K. Road arenas packed where she goes. Everyone's eyes will be on this rivalry as it develops. Will Caitlin Clark step up and meet the intensity that a Ja Wilson brings? Is it possible for fans to come together and support both athletes, even when they have different opinions on social activism in sports? As we observe this crucial time in women's sports, one question lingers, how much are we ready to invest in athletes who represent a cause greater than themselves? The energy is electric, and the prospects for women's basketball have never seemed more promising. Crowds girls wearing her jerseys. Uh, Nike signed her through eight years at a cheap rate. You tell me that, and I assume Nike's doing fantastic in 2024, because it sounds like you're describing a billion dollar athlete who suddenly appeals to previously unreached de demos. The blend of sports and social activism is a fascinating and changing story, and AJ Wilson is leading the way. Whether you're rooting for Caitlin Clark or just curious about the exciting changes in women's sports, one thing is clear, the discussion is only beginning, and it promises to be thrilling. Every tweet, post, and highlight reel serves as a reminder to fans that they belong to something greater, a movement that goes beyond sports and touches on the core of human connection, equana, and empowerment. Are you going to participate, or will you just observe from the sidelines, you have the power to decide. The apparel behemoth has majority male customers and has long craved similar success with women. Fortunately, they signed the woman to build a brand around. Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, Caitlin Clark. Instead, in the early Clark era, Nike stock has tanked over the span and the CEO just got ousted. This ongoing story of competition, activism, and athletic achievement goes beyond mere sports. It mirrors our society and the issues we encounter. A Jab Wilson and Caitlin Clark are making waves in the news, and the conversation about their influence is just getting started. Get ready, because the future of women's sports is arriving, and it's going to be exciting. So, what do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you all for watching.